this guy the text message from one of our principals saying, bad weather is coming in, so I might have to write this out early. Thanks, Ms. Um, so, we do have some special awards that we're going to hand out. Um, probably those of us. So, the first set of awards we have are voted on by the players. Uh, we give the players a survey and we let them pick who they think is the best offensive player, who they think is the best defensive player, and then who they think is the best teammate for their team. Uh, so as we start off for the freshmen, the offensive award for our freshmen, make sure I get the back up. There it is. Offensive award for freshmen is uh, Kate Polsek. <laughs> Defensive Player of the Year for the freshman team uh, is Ryan Kummel. <laughs> and then uh, favorite teammate is uh, Thomas Reichman. <laughs> coaches, uh, we had two players named honorable mention on the all-district team. Uh, so out of the eight teams that we had in our district, uh, they received votes, but they did not finish in the top ten. Uh, so that was junior Quincy Thomas and senior Shane Cobb.
in our suburban conference, when we had the uh, coaches meeting, we had five players nominated for all conference, whether that was first or second team. Uh, and then we had one player who was named your sportsman of the year. So uh, the first one I'm gonna nominate is the suburban sportsman of the year for Rockland Summit is senior Tyler from Stroke. <laughs> second team, uh, freshman Oliver Pulchett. because of injuries that helped him back from being a first team all conference player this year. But uh, named to the second team, senior Dominic Menninger. <laughs> Having been nominated last year is an honorable mention. Uh, making the second team is junior Quincy Thomas. give that to this kid, the kid from Oakville. And I said, because I know for a fact that next year Shane will be first team all conference. And this year, when I went into our all conference meeting, it was the first thing that I said. I said, this kid deserves first team all conference more than anybody you have listed up here. And I told him what happened. And, and unanimously after they voted the kid from Clayton our player of the year, uh, Shane received the most votes. And I also think it was probably the most well deserved. So, being first team all conference, Shane Connor. Uh, 
Uh, this year's Trent Durrell Award is Senior Carter Peoples. <laughs> Just got the most out of this kid every day. And because he played so hard, he got the most out of his teammates. Uh, so this year's Nick Von Bacchus Award goes to senior Tyler Fristro. Is, um, the last one is called the Jeff Warrior Award. Okay, so somebody who exemplifies some of basketball on and off the floor. Someone when they're wearing the jersey, when they're wearing your brand out in the community, that you're very proud um, that he's a part of your program. And, and while really a lot of these awards could go to a lot of these guys, um, this year, this award is going to go to Senior Doc Megan. something to say, at least from what I heard. Uh, yeah, right now. <laughs> you want to be here till 10?
I got your video. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, we're grateful that you share your kids with us because those boys over there, they mean the world to us. And we love doing great things for them because they're just awesome. So thanks for sharing your kids with us. season, but there's opportunities to get better. And I will tell you that my standpoint, their standpoint, is that first and foremost, we need to get stronger. I, I look at the varsity level and the teams that we lost to. We lost to Hillsborough twice. We lost to Parkway West. We lost to Ladue. Uh, Clayton. Someone on there. Clayton's on there. Uh, I wouldn't say priority. Uh, Washington's on my list. The teams that we lost to there, guys, they're not more talented than we are. Maybe Ladue, maybe Parkway West, they're taller than us. All of them were stronger than us. It goes a long way. You look at college basketball players, you look at NBA basketball players, you just look at good high school basketball players. Okay? Not a lot of them look like Shane. <laughs> 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 hey, Shane, what if I wasn't talking about you, right? I'd be done with you. You know, but you look at the transformations like, well, Shane's a good transformation. Look at him junior year, senior year. You know, look at Tyler sophomore year to junior year. Look at Gavin with the haircut and all, junior year to senior year. He makes you a better basketball player. Hey, and, and that is showing up every day. We live Tuesdays and Thursdays before school. Hey, it, 
unless you're in a sport like baseball or track that you guys lift, you should be there. It's not that hard. Hey, if you are, we have opportunities for the gym to be open. Hey, for you to come shoot, for you to come dribble. We don't need to get up and down the floor. We need our kids to get better individually. And that's what our summer development is about as well. You know, we have, uh, for the first time, we're gonna go back to having a team camp to start the summer. I think that that will lay a really good foundation for what we want to accomplish the rest of the year. We're also going to continue our three on three camp that we had in July. You know, having been at Summit for a long time, I thought that three on three camp was one of the most beneficial things that our kids had. Because you can't hide. You have to be there, you have to defend. Um, and no matter what you do, no matter if it's offseason basketball, no matter if it's track, baseball, football, soccer, golf, no matter what you do, Compete, compete and hate to lose. And when you do lose, figure out why and then don't do it again. Because that's what good basketball players do. They compete and they hate to lose. Um, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Uh, we're gonna play this video. When the video's over, Cool. When the video is over, uh, we'll be done for the evening, but feel free to uh, come up and take your boxes if you want an award. Senior, come get your gifts. Take pictures with your coaches and your teammates and your parents. Um, but I really do appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Um, I think the state of our program is going in a very good direction. Um, and I appreciate you guys letting me lead is probably not the word I look for, but you guys let me be in charge. Uh, it's something I love, it's something that I enjoy doing. I don't always think that I'm the greatest at it, uh, but I love to do it. So, thank you guys.